Here in Hawaii, the lines between business and personal life are often blurred. Our relationships go far beyond just the day-to-day -day business that we do. Hawaii is a small place. We make sure that we go out of our way to help each other out. I wanted to do something that served my community and helped others, and the fire department was the answer. We have about 2,500 lane miles that we manage across eight islands. Most of our routes are on belt systems along the island, which makes beautiful views, but puts us in close proximity to the ocean, so all the impacts that come because of it. Hawaii has one of the worst traffic situations in the country. In 2019, we had 10.4 million tourists on top of our already 950,000 people on the island of Oahu, which is what we serve, puts added strain on our resources. And so traffic absolutely affects our response times. You will always hear legislators and community managers asking us to build a new road in different areas, uh, thinking that that's gonna give them the relief that they need. It's not. We don't have the money for it, we don't have the wherewithal for it, and once we build it, it's gonna be over capacity in two months. So the better way to do it for us is to make sure that we preserve the system we have and use technology or use other operational efficiencies to ensure that the system that we have works better than it did yesterday. So if we were to have vehicular traffic cleared before we got to an intersection, that would save us seconds and then multiply that by the number of intersections that we go to for cardiac arrest. One of the statistics is for every minute that CPR or defibrillation is delayed, it decreases a victim's chance of survival by 7 to 10 percent. So time truly saves lives. Technology is really the driver on many things, you know, and, and that's why I'm a huge Ed Sniffen fan. He's really looking at the bigger picture about equity. On Oahu, 80% of your jobs in one location, in the urban core. If you're rich enough, you can live in your town. But if you want to own something and you don't have the worth, the further and further away you're going to have to live. So in reality, we set ourselves up in a way that we penalize those that can least afford things. We know we can't build new roads as easily as other states can. So we have to focus on things like technology that give us that capacity in different ways. Utilizing technology to bring that equity and accessibility to everybody, not just those who can afford it, is going to be really the equalizer in a lot of this. When we set up that Nimitz Highway system, it wasn't just for connected vehicles. It was to connect people too. So we wanted to make sure that they could get information, not only about their signal phase and timing on the system, but where everybody else is. So if somebody else has an app that's a pedestrian or a bicyclist, I want them to know where they are. I want them to see and get ready for that connectivity now rather than later. Transportation is constantly changing. It's almost one of the most dynamic industries that we have, which is why I think the university is a great partner with the State Department of Transportation. We're here to provide that drive towards what our future needs to be looking like. Build in educational components as much as possible. So getting students involved in all of our processes is super important. It's really training and empowering our next generation of engineers. If you're really looking at the impacts that you can have for your state and for your communities, it's all here. It's all in this transportation space. What we can do here in Hawaii, we can start introducing elsewhere. We are a great place to really lead the way in introducing connected autonomous vehicle technology. It would be super exciting to see everybody get that hour back in their life, to be able to work and live close to where you want to be, to choose now your transportation choices. There's just so many opportunities that open up when we do things in the right way. Because it's coming. You know, the mainland's going to be doing it internationally, worldwide, they're going to be doing it. Why not Hawaii and why can't Hawaii be a leader in this?